Namaste and good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night to wherever you may be across this beautiful globe. It is Monday. Hi guys, this is Destiny. I invite all the people to go to Destiny Forever Walks. That is my YouTube channel. All the people that just ran up across Destiny's YouTube page, I invite you to like my videos. I mean, look at them, watch my videos. Subscribe to my channel, like, thumbs up, like them. And then you share my videos with all your friends and families. Just share, share, share. And then if you like my messages, then you want to hear more of what Destiny has to bring and all the things that she had to share with you on this platform, then you hit that bell notification. And each time that I upload a video, then you will be the very first to know that Destiny has to done it again. That's a new video. So subscribe. I am Destiny Forever Walks. That's my YouTube channel. And I welcome all the new people who have just Walk into the room on Destiny, and I'll have to give a shout out and a great big huge smile and love to all of my wonderful subscribers out there. And guys, you are the best. You are a family. You are there for me, and I really truly appreciate you guys so much for supporting me and supporting my channel, standing behind me, teaching me, guiding me, and most of all, loving me for who I am. So let's jump into this video because Destiny has a new message, and it's a very important one. So guys, today I'm gonna talk about gratitude. And you know what gratitude is? We all know what gratitude is, even though a lot of times we don't give the gratitude that we should be given or we acknowledge the fact of gratitude is in us to give but gratitude is just being thankful it's a it's a state of thanksgiving you are thankful you're grateful that is gratitude and there's a saying that always makes a lot of sense to me thank you makes room for more Think about that. Thank you makes room for more because the more you're saying thank you, thank you, and thank you for this, and thank this person for that, and thank, thank this company for this, and thank whatever that you're receiving something from, that person seeing your gratitude, that they seeing your thanksgiving, your excitement and happiness about what they have given you and you are receiving it great, great, graciously <laughs> with a grateful heart, then you are opening up a room to receive more of that what you are thankful for. I don't want to prolong this, so let me move over here. I got some notes. I'm going to jump into these notes and I'm going to talk on the topic today. The universe, it loves gratitude. The universe loves gratitude, and that's the topic that we are going to discuss today. So you guys ready? We're ready, we're ready, Destiny, we're ready, and I'm ready to give it to you guys. My topic today, and something that you need to really just meditate on. Sometimes we have to marinate in it. Just allow ourselves to just sit in it, let it soak in us, to to create all those juices within us to bring out the best of us. To pull out all the energy it needs to flow with life every day. So the creator of the universe loves gratitude. And I'm going to give it to you now. The universe is saying that it loves gratitude. And this is a quote that is been spoken to the whole millions of people across this world about the late Louise Hay. And I don't know if you know her, but she's a, she was phenomenal teaching. And you might can go and pull her up, Louise Hay, and she has a lot of messages 
a lot of quotes. She's a very inspiring and a very great motivator speaker. And that is a saying that she have always put out there. The universe loves gratitude. So gratitude and the good we have is what I want to share with you guys today. It's all about Louise. And I want you all to come familiar with her. I mean, go and search her. Go to YouTube. Put in Louise Hay. And you will find a lot of information, a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom. This lady was packed with wisdom. So you can get to know her. And today, it's all about what Louise said. And I'm bringing her important message into your house today. And here I am. I'm just quoting today and implementing into your life. Some of the things that she said and things that she spoke and believed in. And I found it very life-changing, very helpful. I found it where it's so much powerful knowledge that it just caught my wings. And it pulled me up to a greater and higher level to see myself at that level where she was speaking on. So let's jump into this. Every thought we think and every word we speak, guys, is creating what? our future and you know destiny talks about this all the time my whole thing is i don't want to be able to just talking and just throwing out just empty words i want my words not to fall on deaf ears i want you to really grab it grab these words because these words are coming from my heart to yours but it's coming from the divine creator into my heart to give to you so these are words don't let it fall on the empty ear Every thought that we think and every word that we speak, guys, is creating our future. It's as though our thoughts, it goes out into the universe and are accepted. And then they are brought back to us as experience or experiences. And that's what life is all about. You go through this or that thing or whatever, different challenges, different lessons through life, different situations. But they are all, it's going to bring you to a place of experiences. And your experiences are real. Because can't nobody say that what you're speaking or saying about what you've been through is not real. Your experiences are what you are lived through. So those are your truths. And those are things that you can stand up there on a platform and you can share with other people. Because that's what you experience. And that is a very simple thing. But most people don't get it. And they just don't understand it. They never have heard it before that the universe loves gratitude. And most people think, they ridiculous saying stuff like that, but you better stop judging people. Because like I said, you don't know people and you don't know how the divine creator God is dealing with that person. And you definitely don't know what message that the creator is putting within that person. Because he gives out truth. Because he is true. He is light. And he pulls that truth and that light within each one of us. We don't have all of the truth, people. And I'll keep telling you. But inside of every story that someone tells. Within everything that we all experience. And which is our truth. There are truths within those things. So we have to be careful how we judge people, how we quickly to jump on people and say, oh, that's stupid, that's dumb, they're talking crazy. That's that person's truth. Respect that. And then they will respect yours as well. And on the flip side of that, you have to respect what someone else is bringing to you and accept their truths. I'm not telling you, hey, you know that you have to say, I agree with it. But you're agreeing to be agreeable and you're listening it because it could be something that later on, it may be something that you may walk into or discover. You may not be discovering it at the moment, but it may be a piece of the puzzle that's bringing you into part of the truth that you already have. So never misjudge or say things about people because you have never heard it before. You don't have to say that it's ridiculous. You just say, hey, I did never heard it this way, but hey, you know, I can I can understand what you said. Let me think on it. Let me go do some study and research, and that's the best way to do it. But if you really can't accept 
accept the fact that every time you think of a thought and every time you speak a word that you are really painting your world, that you are painting your future, and you are making your own bed, either to get up every day from it or to lie down in it every single day. And that way you lie down in it, not getting up to make that bed, then you're always going to lie down, never growing to go out to discover new and amazing things to learn about this beautiful universe, to learn about the universe. God, the creator of life, dog. I mean, you're not going to learn anything because you're going to stay in your bed and ain't nothing coming to get you to pull you out of there. You got to go out there and you got to get it, baby. You got to take the bull by the horns. So you got to get up out of that bed and you got to start standing up in your greater higher self and agreeing with what the creator God is saying to you. And you got to believe everything that he said. He created you for greatness. He created you for success. You are powerful. Created in his likeness, guys, and in his image. And when he got down to that beautiful man that he made, he said, wow, that is very good. That man was fearfully and wonderfully made. So get up out of that bed. Let's go out there and let's take hold to life. And then you just run it. So you get life under your belt. And then you started living out the life that the creator has created for you. Get up and go for it. You can do this. Because if you start out in the morning getting up, giving praise to the creator of the universe, sending out gratitude for everything that you have, and even the things that you don't have, but you are in expected mode that I'm going to receive, and you got to believe it. Gratitude goes forth. The universe loves gratitude and guess what's coming back to you all those blessings and things that you have desired that, that you have been praying about your best and i'm not saying it's coming back that same day or the next day or next week but believe me they will come back but you got to keep the faith knowing that i spoke it i believe it so whatever i say within my heart that i believe then therefore i shall receive it you got it so get up get up and make that bed Get up and live your life every single day because every day that you get up and every day that you are facing life and you're facing the world, then you're facing the reality and the things that's going on in this world and you will be able to take it down because you're going to learn how to create positivity from all the negativity that is around you. And you got to be very careful what you're saying or what you're allowing people to say around you or allowing people to speak into your ears because if you receive the negativity and all the negative energy they bring into your life, then you want to create that. But you want to create positivity in a positive light. So you want to create your own world and your reality through the experiences that you have lived. And this is simple, but it's not easy to accept. So it takes time. It takes work. It's a process. Everything is a process. Because it doesn't happen when you think it should happen. It doesn't happen as fast as you would like for it to happen. It would happen, but you got to believe in your heart. You got to trust and lean not to your own understanding. You got to trust the divine creator God. And it would happen. It takes a little bit of faith. That's all that the creator God is looking for. That muscle seed of faith. Put that muscle seed in the ground, people. Let it grow. And then you will begin to grow to your greater higher self. Before you know it, you are speaking in power. You are speaking life reality. You are speaking in agreement with what the creator said. And you are sending out powerful tons of gratitude every day. And the universe is saying, whoa, she got it. He got it, baby. Yes, send it, send it. Give it to me. Because what are you asking for? Bam, take this, take this. I'm sending it back to you. So that's what we got to do. Start creating your own life. And this is simple because it's not easy. I'm saying, you know, it's not always simple. And it's not always easy, but it's a thing that I'm saying you have to really work at every day. You have to work. But once you accept it, guys, guess what? Then you begin to be aware of what you don't want in your life. And you begin to be aware of how you are contributing to the things that is coming into your life, whether they're good things or whether they are bad things. So you gotta watch your word, like the Bible said, put a guard over your mouth, 
You gotta tame that tongue. You gotta train that tongue because that tongue is a mighty powerful little enemy. It can destroy and break down your life or it can create the most wholesome and beautiful life that you can ever imagine. That, that little tongue, okay? So I think this has been around forever, the saying that the universe loves gratitude. It has because the universe has always been here. But for some reason in the last half of the century, people, the universe is wanting this to go out among all the people across this beautiful world, this beautiful land, across this universals. And I said there's more than one of universals. That's another topic. I'm not going to break into that today. But we need to do studies. Do your own research and studies, people. Multile universe is what we are living in because we're energy be people, energy beings. And energy does not die because we are created from the heart of the earth. And I've taught that subject so many times that we just transcend and just keep evolving, evolving, moving from one place to the next, one place to the next, never dying, but always moving to the next life. And that's another video. So most of us think that yeah, like I said, you know, okay, it may be something that I never experienced, but experiences is a good thing. And I think that, like I said, this saying and all these things that the Creator he has placed in us from the time that He He had us birthed into this world, He predestined everything within us before the foundation of the world, before we were even born. But for some reason, like I said, in the last have center of the universe, of this, of the, I mean, the last century, the universe is warning all of this powerful messages and all these words and talking about the gratitude that the universe loves. He wants it to go out among all the people or he wants it to go out to the people that are ready for it. So are you ready for it? Are you ready to receive this? You have to put yourself in that mode to receive it. And when you hear that positive word, that positive energy, it should resonate something within you. It should spark a fire within you. It should cause you to, hey, you know, I know that. I know that because there's a place within me that feels that. I feel the power. I feel the energy. I feel the love. I feel the growth that the creator God is, is, is channeling up inside of me. And it causes you, you want to agree. Are you ready for that? Are you one of those people? Are you ready to grow and go on and live and move into your higher state of consciousness? Move out of that, that 3D level of thinking, that lower level of thinking of, from that comes from your ego. And move into your 5D, your 5, your higher state of, your higher state of consciousness, which is the five level at your highest state that is the kingdom of god that he talks about people that is within you the kingdom of god is within you i didn't make it up it's in your bible in the new testament go and research it so most of us we think and we think and we just think but that's something y'all thinking is okay but we don't pay attention to what we are thinking and a lot of times we just talk and we just talk and just say all kinds of things out of our mouths. But we're not thinking about the things that we are saying that is coming forth from our mouths. Whether those things has power to live, to heal, or it has that power to kill everything in your life. So guard your mouth. Watch what you're saying. Guard your thoughts. Let this mind be in you that was all so in the divine creator, God himself. You have to have his mind. Because we are either killing people or we are causing life to live. So, our thoughts, if they're negative, and that's what we are doing, we are killing ourselves. We are just doing it. But that's something that we all need to do. And we all need to train ourselves to do better, to be better. Once you know better, what you do, you do better. So to begin to train yourself to be aware of what you are thinking, you need to sit and stop and think in a place of stillness and a place of meditation that I'm always talking about and teaching on. And one of the ways to do that is to periodically, guys, say to yourself these three things. Number one, what am I thinking? Number two, would I like 
this thought to create my life? And number three, would I like to have the experience this thought could bring to me? Think of all those three points right there. It takes a while to do that. Now, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm not saying it all happens overnight, instantly in a second, but you have the power within you to create your thoughts and you can change things around when you begin to speak things consistently. I'm saying it again. Anything that is spoken continuously, 21 consistent days, guys, it becomes a habit. Start speaking positivity. Start speaking positive affirmations. Start speaking the things that you want to create that's happy and wholesome and healthy in your life. Consistently doing affirmations that are positive every single day, all throughout the day, whenever chance you get. And you will see the turnaround in your life. 21 days, I'm telling you, speaking those things in that manner, it will become a total great habit to attain and achieve. So guys, even though it takes a while to do that, but even if we begin at that smallest level to be aware of our thinking, then we can start making those positive changes immediately. And to begin with, you can start by doing what I just told you. Affirmations. I love affirmations. You know, you can create your own affirmations. I'm beautiful. I am smart and intelligent. I am wholesome. I'm a warrior. I am more than a conqueror. I am my creator of my life. I am powerful. I am dynamic. I am my truth. I am love. I am beautiful. I am handsome. I'm adorable. I am rich. I am mago. Powerful. I am a superhero. Just put out those positive affirmations. That is making positive statements, guys, about your life and about you and about the life that you want to create and the life that you want to live in. Guys, you got to do them deliberately. Okay? You might do them in the morning. You might do them at noonday, or you might do them at the night, in a time when you do it, just do it, baby. Like Nike say, just do it. Just jump into it and start doing these positive affirmations. Anytime you could even thought, you could have thoughts in your head. Because the creator God knows your thoughts before or off, before you even speak them. So he already grabbed your thought. And you, you can just be sitting there doing your work. And you can be sitting there in a room of billions of people. And you could be doing a whole lot of different tasks. But you can't stop that thought from going forth. And you just allow them thoughts. And you're thinking while you're doing your work. And he hears your thoughts. And he comes in to grab that thought. So keep going. Keep doing it. It doesn't matter what time of day, whenever, whatever. But you do this and you let this become a habit. Let it become a habit every single moment of your day. And as you start to do them, then things will begin to change. You're going to see a dramatic change of greatness, of health, of, of love, of whatever that you are speaking and whatever that you are saying. If you're speaking in a positive mode and you are speaking it from a positive spectrum of life, you're going to see greatness. You're going to see the best coming at you and you better grab it and you better own it because you spoke that thing into existence. That's your reality. That's who you are. Or that's what you made with the words from your mouth. As the creator spoke when he stepped into the planet of the universe in Genesis, he said, let it be. Let comes the stars, the moon, the waters, the seas, the flowers, the plants. Let it be. Let everything come into existence, the animals and all those things. Let it be. And it came and it was. You had that same power within you to create your world and your reality. But he rightly said, just do them, just keep speaking them, and they will begin to change. Now, it may change. It will change. But it may be at a very small level. But people listen. Because it's small, the Bible says, do not despise small beginnings. I don't care how small it is. I know he said over the New Testament, you take that tiny little mustard seed, that seed is so tiny that you can barely see it. But from that little seed, you plant it. A great amount of faith comes with it because that seed grows and that mustard tree is so huge when it grows. You would never imagine that that tiny little seed could create something so powerful as that mustard tree. 
So keep going. I don't care how small it may look. But you keep going in that direction of creating your world and your life and your reality. And you continue, guys, to send out gratitude to the universe. I am thankful for life. I am thankful for my beautiful body. I'm thankful for my health. I'm thankful for my family, my children, my husband, my spouse, my wife. I'm thinking, I'm thankful for my job. I'm thankful for the finances. I'm thankful for the place that I'm in because I'm living my best life yet. Just be thankful. I'm thankful. Just be thankful because I'm alive. Just be thankful because I can breathe. Just be thankful for I can make my own choices in life. Just be thankful. The universe loves gratitude. The universe loves gratitude, people. You also have to really, guys, love yourself. And that's a huge part of all this. If you don't love yourself, then you can just turn around, shut, shut it all off, turn off this message, and just say, okay, because it's not going to work if you don't find that place of love within yourself first, love yourself. Learn to appreciate who you are. Stand up from the mirror and look at that beautiful you because that's that beautiful person in that mirror, that little authentic you, that rawness in you, and that little inner child gleaming back within the reflection of the mirror looking at you, your twin flame. So you learn to love yourself and then you'll be grateful for who you are, for what you are, for the creator created you to be. You'll be so grateful and you got to start saying it. I'm thankful to the universe and you got to start giving the universe all the thanks for all the creations and the universe, God, for bringing everything in your life, for making your life perfect and whole. Even sometimes we're going through chaos. Even sometimes we're going through fears and troubles and trials and true relations and we're going through people trying to hurt us, people's getting revenge on us. It doesn't matter. We don't have to live in it. We don't have to waddle in it. We don't have to agree with it. You just say, okay, bring it on, but I'm going to keep moving and keep walking because every time you throw a bad punch at me, I'm knocking it out my way because I'm trying and I will reach my greater and higher self because what you're throwing at my way, I don't believe it. No more I'm not going to allow it to, to dominate or control or manipulate my life. So you bring it. I'm going to take my best shot at it, baby. When I take my best shot at it, I'm knocking you and that negative thing that you're bringing toward me right out of the ballpark. I am the champion. I am the winner of my life. So you got to love yourself. Love yourself. And you got to keep sending out that gratitude to the universe. You got to stand up every single day throughout the day. I don't care how many times a day. And you got to stand up look at and just say, I love myself. I love myself. I really love myself. And it's a good thing to practice that stand in the mirror. And every time you see it and you look back and you look into that mirror, right into the face of that mirror, you see your true self, it makes it sparkle. And it gives more power behind it. I really love myself. I love destiny. I really love destiny. I really, really love destiny. You put your name there. I really love myself. So we have to love ourselves. And gratitude works a, a lot. When we start doing that, gratitude will start working in your behalf. It will start working for your good. Gratitude will be there because the universe is saying, it. oh, they appreciate, they love who I created them to be. They just love them beautiful self and they're going to start sending you more and more and more. So just be grateful, people. Please be grateful for everything. For everything that comes in your life, be grateful. Be grateful for the bad challenges. Be grateful for the, for the bad experiences, for the hurtful relationships. Be grateful because all those things taught you what? Lessons and it gave you what? Experiences. And what all that creates more of a wise and a better and a stronger you. And now you can put that in check. And close that chapter of all those bad things. And I can take all the negativity that was born along with it was to hurt me and harm me. I can turn it around for my good and start creating a greater and better life for me and for myself and for the world that I'm living in and for the world that others around me are living in also. Okay. So you be grateful for everything. The more you are grateful for what the good is in your life, guys, the more good that you're going to get because to be grateful for. And I want you to understand that. The more you are grateful for what the good is in your life, the more good you get to be grateful for. So, guys, 
I'm gonna repeat it again. The universe loves gratitude. And I am truly people, beautiful. My subscribers out there, my friends, the new people just walked up in the room, the new viewers. I am really grateful for each one of you. And if destiny does not tell you that or say that enough to you, Guys, I ask you right now to forgive me. I ask for your forgiveness because I truly do love you with all of my heart. I truly appreciate each and every one of you on a level that you probably don't even understand. I love you because that love is here in my heart center, my heart chakra right there. That's the love channel where it is created that unconditional love by the creator God himself. That's where life begins. And when I reach that place of my heart channel, my heart chakra, and y'all got to learn about the major seven chakras. It's when you reach to that part right there. That's when love and everything in life opens up to you when you start having that understanding of your greater and how your consciousness self. That's another video, and I got plenty out there and other people as well. So I truly love you guys. I truly love you and I really appreciate you. And I'm so grateful that you are in my life. I'm so grateful that you are a part of my life. And I thank you not just because you are a subscriber to my page. I thank you for the beautiful person that you really are. And I thank you for your beautiful thoughts, your beautiful ways, and the way and things that you make life so much better. Not just for me, but everybody in our YouTube community. Okay, guys, truly do love you. So if I have not said that enough, then please forgive me. i got to be more mindful to let you guys know how grateful I am and how much I love you. So I really, truly do love you all, guys. And I love you, like I said, on a level that you may not really, truly understand. And guys, that's the message. That's all Destiny came here to say. So I ask you guys to share this message of gratitude. And... Go out there and love someone, love someone. Go out there and give someone a, a compliment. Go out there and, 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 and put someone, you know, above yourself. Just, for, you know, just above yourself. Just to, to cheer them on, whatever. You know, just love. Share this message of gratitude and love. Share it, share it. And please, just love on someone. And show someone how much you care about them. And show the universe how grateful you are for everything that he brings into your life, even the people in your life. He's going to bring you the best of everything. So be an inspiration, people. Be an inspiration. Be a lover of life. And you just be like Louise Hay. Because she changed and she inspired the life of millions of people in her time when she was here on this planet. And I'm grateful for Louise Hay. She's powerful. She was powerful. So thank you, guys. And remember this, the universe does love gratitude. And you have my love. So thank you for listening to Destiny Forever Walks today, my YouTube channel. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to my channel. Like my videos, share my videos. And if you'd like to get more new videos when Destiny is uploading videos, hit the bell notification and you will get a bell notification saying Destiny has done it again. So guys, thank you for all the new people that come in the room. I just ask you guys just to subscribe to my channel so you can become to know all of this, this beautiful person named Destiny. And I say that in a very humble and kind and a compassionate way. I send out gratitude to you all out there. I send out love. This is Destiny and Destiny is here. She's going away. To get more information to bring your way. I will see you at the next video. I will see you at the next video. Guys, namaste and good day. And I'm going to see you at the next video. Whether it's your house or mine. Love you guys. Have a wonderful day. I appreciate all of you. I am so grateful for you. I just wanted to say that again.